Hi folks, welcome to another video. Uh, today's going to be another unboxing. Uh, this one is a 16 ton pipe bender or pipe and tube bender. I don't quite understand how they can advertise it as a pipe and a tube bender because they're two different materials. One measures ID, a pipe, one measures OD, a tube. So, we'll, uh, I have opened the boxes so I know what's in it because I, don't, I didn't understand why I had two boxes. One's the dies, one's the actual machine. So, they are open but I haven't actually taken anything out. So, let's get into it. They do weigh a lot. Pin twice in two boxes. There we go, that's pretty much it. It's quite a hefty bit of kit, as you can see. 16 ton RAM. And by the looks of it, 5mm chassis. That doesn't inspire confidence at all. But I don't really wait for exhaust and stuff. Or just mocking up exhaust mainly. You know, it's not going to be anything special. Uh, so it's half inch to three inch, which is basically what I advertised. Double the dice. themselves at uh, the cast they look fairly steady. The finish on them doesn't look very good. That, that's quite bad. Yeah, the finish on these is actually really bad. I don't know if it's picked up on camera. That, see, that top edge right there actually rolls back in a little bit. So that's good. Yeah, I'm not quite happy with the finish on these. I might have to sort of just fettle the edges. I mean, that's like really, really sharp there. It looks like it's been gas axed or something across there. It's really, really bad. So, hopefully, it'll do what I need to do. I mean, it cost it cost about 170 quid. I'll put a screenshot up. All right. Well, let's get all of these out because they're not going to go back in here. Never. So it comes with eight forms, as you can see. Um, the biggest one, the three inch, you know, it's, it's quite a curve. You know, I would have liked that to be a little bit more um, acute for doing exhausts, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't think this is a three inch one. I haven't actually got any three inch pipe, so, can't really test it out but goes down to half inch and then you've got millimetres on that side. So um, I do have some bits of pipe. I've got a bit of any old exhaust stuff sort of hacked off. 
um, some thin pipe there, and then well, small pipes, not thin, and then some quite hefty bit of pipe there. Um, so this is just over 25 mil, and then that's 1.8 thick. So have we got 25 mil? 15, 20. That says 25 there. That does not go in there. As you can see, that says 25 mil. Also says an inch. Yeah, it says an inch. And in actual fact, it's 36 mil. I'm on five inches. What's that one? That was one point one. And that says that one's supposed to be three quarter. So already they're shit. So this one's supposed to be three inches. How big is that? So the three inch one is, in actual fact, 3.6. So as you can see, all of the measurements are out. So I'm assuming that these measurements would be for pipes. So obviously with a pipe, you're measuring the ID, not the OD. So then you've got to uh, factor in the thickness of the material. That's why that one may be three inch, but there's an actual fact 3.4 inch. So that, that should cover the material. Although that seems to be excessive. Um, when you bend in pipe, you do need to make sure that it, it's a nice tight fit on, on the actual edge, because otherwise what you do is you'll either kink it or crush it, which is kind of the thing, the object you need to sort of stretch and shrink it round, round the form. So, yeah, we're gonna have to sort of guess what we're going in, that's way too big. Well, I'm not gonna be able to bend that, I don't think. I'm not trying to watch that. I might try and bend that with that one. Why don't we go on that? Yeah, so that one's not too bad in there. Right, so that says it's one inch. So we'll give that a go. I don't know what size that is. Yeah, and that one, we'll give that a go on that one as well. Just to see what it'll do. It's definitely the bend it. Let's have a look at how good the bend is. So it was fairly tight in the uh, the form of the size of this one. Hopefully it got out. That's good. Yeah, it's pretty crap. It's like very crap. Don't know if you can see, probably not. But that's proper creased it. That's not stretched at all here. So yeah, it's put a couple of kinks in there and it hasn't really stretched that back edge. That may be heating up a little bit, but that was really tight in that form. But it didn't actually fit in properly. So look at that. So it doesn't quite fit. I wonder if that might be the issue, it's just bending it over. So. Yes, quite quick. Well, let's try the, the smaller bit, see what that does. That's new, so that's also quite thick, so we'll see what that does. So we've got two choices here. Um, this one, which is really sloppy, and then that one which is way too tight. Um, no, it's not even close to it. So I'm going to try that and just squash it. But 
I do think this one's going to cause issues as well because it's, it's too loose. So we'll, um, we'll give it a go, see it does. Well, I thought I was filming, but I didn't. Um, as you can see on this piece that I've just done, um, yeah, we were recorded on DSLR, but I thought I had the phone going as well. Um, yeah, it was just, just kinked it. It splayed the edges out to so it's quite loose in there, and then just sort of spread it out to it so it's like you know, I might end up sending this back because it's just, it's not fit for purpose basically. If it can't bend quite properly, then I don't want it. Um, I'm going to give it one last go with this piece. This is quite thick, quite thick material. Um, hopefully, we'll find um, something that fits it. Right, okay, this is the best one I've found for it, but again, it's. thin bit of steel that I'll shake around it that actually fills that gap up so hopefully once it's all sandwiched together that should be its correct size so we will go again and see what it does so while I was just trying to put the, the tube in I obviously had this bit set up and when I was sort of trying it on the tube I had it on this edge here but then when I actually got it so it was in the centre, it was all really, really sloppy. So I just got the venue out, and then I went, so there's 50. In the centre, there's an extra 2 mil. And then it goes back down to the top. And that's 50 again. So these dyes are not even straight. Absolutely ridiculous. Look, look at that. How are you supposed to make a perfect bend when your forms ain't good? Well, this is far from ideal, but as you can see, I've now got two pieces in there, and then this tube should fit through. So now that's snugged up. So that would be stimulating as if that was not the perfect size pipe for what it needs to be. So. Right. So let's see what they're doing now. I expect this to be a lot tougher because it is quite a thick shape. So it's definitely touching the bottom of the form, it's touching the sides. So let's uh, give it some bump. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, it does bend it, but very, very badly. Um, that one there kinked, you know. That this is probably the best one, but as you can see, you know, it's it's got some little kinks there. Um, I'm really not happy with it, so I'm going to try and return it. Um, I'm not. I'll, I'll still leave the link in the description for you. So if you want to go try it yourself, if you think you can do better, um, I'm going to spend more money and get another one. I think this is this is not good enough for what I want. You know, I was hoping that a cheap one would do, you know, all I want to do is mock exhausts up so I can get, get a layout so then I can um, send them off to have somebody do, do them properly. But I, I won't even do that with this. Um, it's just not not good enough. Um, yeah, if, if you like this sort of video, uh, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see other stuff, uh, 
sort of just drop, drop a comment of like what, what you want to see an unboxing of. If I can afford it, I'll do it. Um, please consider subscribing to the channel. When you do, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified of all my new videos that are going up. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. You know, for, for one dollar a month, which works out about sixty p. You know, all my videos go up early, so you get to see them earlier, um, and it really does help me out. Follow me on social media: Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, I've got projects in that I don't always film, um, but I, I tend to sort of uh, post almost every day there, so you can sort of keep up to date of what I'm doing. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.